Hello everyone, my name is Andra Nalini, the Bazooka Prophet, and today we are going to be working on a very interesting uh, topic in biochemistry, which is titled Metabolism of Lipoprotein in Health and Disease. Now, before we progress, what is a lipoprotein? Simple. A lipoprotein, uh, from what? Lipoprotein. Two things formed it, and they are lipids and proteins. Now, lipoproteins are what? And protein molecules that transport fats in the body. It means that there are some key points at a body of notes. That is why my body will give you a, like, a brief summary of what indeed is a lipoprotein. And what are the uh, 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 what are the relevance or what are the functions of these type of proteins? Now we can also say that lipoproteins is a biochemical assembly and also soluble complexes of proteins and lipids that transport lipids in the work now in the circulation of all vertebrates. Very simple. I told you that it's a biochemical assembly. Which is also a soluble complexes of proteins and lipids. You see, that are the derived their name from lipids and protein coming together to form what they call a lipoprotein. Now, basically, lipoproteins are classified according to their density. Take the back you that what you see here. The lipoproteins are classified according to their what now? Lipo, uh, according to their densities. And they have different types of lipoproteins. We have one, the calomicrons. We have two, we have the very low density lipoproteins. Three, the low density lipoproteins. Four, the intermediate or the intermediary what are lipoproteins. And lastly, what we call the HDL, the high density lipoproteins. Remember, I have told you that lipoproteins are classified according to their density. And based on that, we could simply say the higher the protein content, the higher the density of the lipoproteins. Now, each of these lipoproteins I just called for you now, which are the calomicrons. The VLDL, also called the very low density lipoprotein. The LDL, also called the low density lipoprotein. And the HDL, the high density lipoprotein. We're going to be talking about the functions of each of these lipoproteins and their relationship or, or how they correlate in health and diseases. Now we'll start with calomicrons. Now, calomicrons are synthesized only, only, yeah, only in the what? In the intestinal what now? Cell only. Take note that the calomicrons are synthesized only in the intestinal cell. Now, what's the function of the calomicrons? Now, calomicrons is important in the delivery of TAG. And what's TAG? T simply means triacylglycerol, which is coming from fat. You see? Delivery of TAG to what now? To peripheral tissues, other tissues. Peripheral tissues. Now, please take note. Please take note. That calomacrons, in all of these lipoproteins, calomacrons is... Look at it. It has the lowest density lipoprotein, calomicrons. While the one that has the highest uh, 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 density lipoprotein is the HDL. Please take note that calomicrons contain the lowest density lipoproteins at the case of the Now, please take note that calomicrons is highest or is highest in TAG. And lowest in cholesterol. Please take note of this point. That calomicrons is what 
is lowest, is lowest in cholesterol and highest in TAG. Very, very important. Now, the major point of the book. Now, there's a condition we call hypercholesterolemia. From the word hyper, I, cholesterolemia, and cholesterol. Now, it is a deficiency in the inability to what? To degrade chiromacros components or remove their work, their remnants after TAGs have gotten has been removed. Do not forget that the function of the chiromacros is in the delivery of the triacyl glycerol to where now to the peripheral tissues and we have established the fact that TAG that uh, uh, that calomacrons is highest or TAG is highest in calomacrons and cholesterol is lowest. Now next one is the VLDL very low density lipoprotein. Take note that the VLDL is synthesized by the liver. Take note. And what is the function of this VLDL? It delivers the novo TAG to peripheral or tissue. And the question now is, what, what meaning of the novo? Simple. It means anil. 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 And from that point, anil simply means over again from the beginning. Meaning, other, meaning that TAG can also be delivered from other sources. And if that is noted, take note that VLDL is high in TAGs and low in what now? And low in cholesterol. Please take note of this one. Because many a time, students uh, 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 often have issues on how these points are to be delivered. If not, for example, for knowledge's sake, you should know that the word they know simply means anew. Many over again, many uh, 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 getting a thing from another source that is fresh, that is new, that means from the beginning. Don't forget that this function you are seeing here is similar to that of what we call the calomicrons. But the calomicrons delivers what now? TAG. But the VLDL delivers what now? The novel, the novel, the novel. And new from the beginning, many other parts, part, pathway, a fresh source. I will move straight away to the to one important part, which is called the LDL, which stands for low density lipoprotein. Simple. The LDL is a cholesterol rich lipoprotein, and we have said that it is the principal cholesterol carrier. And many a time, they have said that when there is an high concentration of LDL in the human body, it is linked to what we call a coronary heart disease. That's why oftentimes we are always advised to take substances that are low in cholesterol. Why? As excess of this cholesterol in the human body results or is related with incidence of what we call coronary heart disease. And on that note, the LDL is known as a bad cholesterol. Why? It has in the transport or it delivers cholesterol into the peripheral tissues. Peripheral tissues, as you can see here. Now, we continue. That high level of LDL are associated with the formation of a plague, which we call the anterosclerotic plague, that obstruct blood vessels, causing heart attack and strokes. That is why you are always advised take food substances or take food that are low in cholesterol. Now, this is just the part one. 
And the part two, we will talk more on the HDF. For now, God bless you.